This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. When you have lengthy Word documents, you're going to need to be able to maneuver around those documents. So we're going to use the scroll bar, but also the mouse. So if you take a look at your mouse, you should have a left button, a right button, and in between those two buttons, a little wheel. When I'm talking about using the wheel or wheeling with the mouse, I'm using that little wheel in between the left and the right buttons. Let's go look at some scrolling options in Word. So what I have here is just a Word document that's three pages. And the way that I know is in the bottom left-hand corner, it says it's, whoops, excuse me there. It says it's page one of three there in the bottom left-hand corner. And I want to make my way through this document pretty quickly. So I'm using my mouse and I'm using that wheel. And all I'm doing is pulling toward me with that wheel. And as you can see, it's moving me through the document as I'm pulling toward me. Now, if I want to go back to the top, I just scroll, scroll back toward the top or roll my mouse back toward or away from me. And that'll allow me to quickly and easily scroll through this document. And I tend to use that feature more than I ever use my um, actual scroll bar. Another way that you can scroll using your mouse, locate my mouse, I'm just wiggling it around here. It's in the top right hand corner of my screen. Okay, so now that you've found my mouse, what I'm doing now is I'm clicking that wheel and I'm simply holding down. I'm not moving anywhere, I'm just pushing down, giving it a little pressure. And now you can see there's a scroll mouse as well. And watch what happens when I move. Now I'm physically dragging my mouse just a little bit down or back towards my body. And you'll notice that what happens is that it starts to scroll. And the further you are away from that planted, I don't know what to call that actually. I call it my mouse mover. Um, but that's just a sherry term. See how much faster it scrolls the further away you get? And let's go back up the other direction. The further away you get from that tool, the faster you scroll. So you can also quickly scroll using that method as well. And that's really intended for reading. It's intended to set up the speed that you'd like to scroll in order to read and then to move with the scroll that direction. Now you can also go over here to the right and use your scroll bar. And in your scroll bar, this is called the elevator button. You just click and hold the elevator button. And the good, the good part about this is as you're scrolling, it actually tells you what page you're on. So you can identify the page with that little tool tip. Or you can use the arrows. The up arrow on the scroll bar, for every time you click, it takes you up one line. Or you can click and hold, and it will just drag you up. Or it'll, excuse me, not drag, it'll scroll you up. Or you can click inside of the bar where you're not on an arrow or on the elevator button. You can just click in that empty area. Let me go to the bottom and click, and that will take you down as well. And then you also have the keyboard shortcuts. You have your page up and your page down button on your keyboard that will actually move you up and down. And then one of my favorites is when I'm finished scrolling and I just want to go back to the top is the keyboard shortcut control home. Hold down your control key and click on home and it'll take you all the way to the beginning. So now you have a lot of methods that you can use when you want to scroll. And remember, you only have scroll bars when you actually have somewhere to go. So if your piece of paper is too big for the screen, you might also have a horizontal scroll bar to be able to scroll left and right. But now you'll be able to get wherever you want to go inside of your Word document. 